Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Dion and with the 10 lawbreakers tips and tricks that you need to know. My first tip is, don't treat Lawbreakers like Overwatch. Despite the major differences between the two games, some people are adamant that Lawbreakers is simply an Overwatch clone. One thing that really separates the games is how quickly people die in Lawbreakers. It's more reminiscent of Counter-Strike Global Offensive or Battlefield. A direct hit by the Titan's rocket launcher can one-shot the extremely low health assassin, but the dual blades of the assassin can wipe out a Titan in seconds. The minigun of the Vanguard can melt most classes in close to medium range, but the assault rifle of the Enforcer can be deadly at range in the right hands. Since Lawbreakers is such a fast paced game, you definitely have to be on your toes in order to one up your opponent. My second tip is, learn the original classes. In the Alpha, there was four classes, Enforcer, Titan, Vanguard and Assassin. Now there is a ton of new classes coming in the beta, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Now Enforcer is your well-rounded assault man, featuring an assault rifle that becomes more deadly the longer you fire it, and a shoulder-mounted lock-on rocket launcher as an ultimate ability, a very easy to pick up class. Titan is your beefy tank on the front lines. As I said before, the rocket launcher packs a punch and the same could be said for his ultimate ability, exploding into a new form with lightning shooting out of his hands. Now Vanguard is extremely quick, zipping around the map with booster jets, but can basically turn into an air to surface missile with the press of the Q button. The Assassin has the lowest health pool by far, but outputs the highest damage, and it is also by far the most mobile, using a grappling hook to swing around the map. The ult just buffs everything up to 11, more damage, health regained on kill, and also the ability to see enemies through walls. In Lawbreakers, you're not locked into playing only a few classes. You can swap between them after every death. The Vanguard has been a standout class from the very beginning of the game, so picking up her would be a great choice, but balancing the extremely hard to play but extremely deadly assassin might be something you want to play as well. My third tip is, also go and learn the new classes. Bosky has confirmed that there is three new classes that will be playable in the beta. Gunslinger, Juggernaut and the Battle Medic. In the PAX 2017 panel, they also announced two new roles, Wraith and Harrier, which will bring the count up to 9 in the very foreseeable future. This means knowing how to play each class is extremely important, as soon enough a medal will evolve and getting the right team composition will be very important. From seeing a few Twitter clips, the Battle Medic is a must-have on every team. Not the strongest in 1v1 combat, but can definitely swing the battle with the ultimate ability. A massive bubble shield that pushes all the enemies away, but protects your allies and heals them as well. Gunsling is the Lawbreaker's take on the Sniper class, but with a massive twist. There is two primary weapons, Alpha and Omega. Alpha is like your jab in boxing, trying to chip away at your opponent's health pool. Omega is the very powerful right hook. You can charge up the weapon and go for a headshot that will decimate an enemy. However, there is no scope, so aiming is essential. In conjunction with a blink and a throwing knife, Gunsling is a high skill class with a ton of potential. The Juggernaut is the one I'm most excited about, a 700 h pull beast equipped with a shotgun that has an impaler attachment. Sounds pretty sick in my opinion. With all of that said, we have to wait to the beta until we can go and analyse and break down these classes, so make sure to go and subscribe for more Lawbreakers videos. My fourth tip is, be careful of the no gravity zone. On each map, generally in the centre, there is a zero G zone. This means there is basically no gravity, and thus the combat gets hectic. Now some classes do better than others in this zone. For example, it's quite easy for a Vanguard player to move around due to the fact that Vanguard's booster jets are really, really powerful. However, trying to stabilise yourself as a Titan is really difficult since the Titan has no mid-air movement abilities. My fifth tip is fire backwards for more speed. Since we're talking about all the different classes and the Zero G zone, let's talk about speed. In Lawbreakers, there is no crouch function on control. The control button is completely reserved for firing backwards. Now firing backwards can get you some kills at times, but the best way to use this function is to get some speed and some classes do it better than others. As I said before, the Titan is really hard to control in the Zero G zone. The class's base speed is by far the lowest in the game, but get the Titan firing backwards through the Zero G zone and he becomes one of the fastest. It is really, really cool. This contrast can really turn the tide of a battle and it's extremely important to know these things for stuff like capturing batteries or rushing to contest a point. 
My next tip is make use of the health regenerators. In Lawbreakers, there is no passive health regen and there is only one medic class. The easiest way to get health back is to go to the health regenerators that are spread across the map. Now generally there is one in each base and one in the center of the map. The health regen rates are really fast and you'll get back to 100% HP in no time. So take time to learn where these are, where these health regenerators are across the map so you can quickly top off your health before heading back into battle. Number seven, know the secret routes. In the alpha, there's two available maps, Grandview and Promenade. There is a new map called Vertigo that is in the beta, but I wanted to quickly show off an insane route on Promenade. Now on Promenade, there is a spawn the spawn assassin route that gets you right into the enemy's base. Now this is two ways, super effective, and you can definitely go and turn the tide of the battle. Now sorry about the low quality, I had to go and download it from my Twitter, I uploaded it there many many months ago just as a bit of a throwaway video, and saying now I think it's pretty useful to go and show you guys. But by far my favourite route is a major wraparound on Grandview as the Assassin. You can stop it halfway and go through the enemy's front door, but you can also go and do the whole route and get right behind the spawn by going off the map. Now, I sadly lost the footage of this, but if you guys really want, I can go and make an Assassin guide or an Assassin route guide along those lines, and hopefully you guys will get some use out of it. Since we're talking about the Assassin, let me give you another tip. Use height. In the alpha, the majority of assassin players were just rushing headfirst into enemies. Now that is not how you play the assassin. Her low health pull makes it extremely easy to be burst down or one shot. The right way is to use your massive vertical advantage. Nobody can get as high as you. Getting right into the air by just grappling onto, you know, something high in the sky and just pulling yourself up and just assessing the battlefield. When you see a target, you fire off a few pot shots with your rifle, then you just go right back to the ground, you probably grapple that opponent and just swipe away and it'll be a very, very easy kill. Keeping up in the air is your best friend because basically nobody else in the game can go and do it as well as you can. Number nine, link your Twitter to Lawbreakers. As you can see in the top right hand corner, you can see my Twitter handle, at UndercoverDudes. Make sure to go and follow me by the way. Lawbreakers integrates Twitter and Shadowplay so you can go and share your clips. Now while it's not very useful for me as I generally record all the time, it seems like a great idea for people that just want to go and share their clips on social media. Number 10, play the objective. Another thing I saw during the alpha is that a lot of players were just playing team deathmatch. Now of course getting kills is important, it's probably the second most important part of the gameplay experience, but what is even more important is what you do afterwards, after you get the kill. The majority of the time, going towards the point to capture it or going towards the battery will be a very good decision as it can directly help your team win. Now if you are on quite low health, going back to the health regenerators is quite a good idea. But saying that, if you are on that massive streak and you know you're popping off right now, going forward might just work, especially on classes like the Assassin where you get health back for each kill and that is when your ultimate is activated. Lawbreakers in general promotes active play, not sitting back and letting your teammates carry you. Each class has an active and a passive component component of their kit. For example, the Gunslinger, as I said before, really good at getting headshots, but with that blink, with that throwing knife, getting right up and close and personal can be very effective as well. So trying to go and balance those two playstyles and mixing them together to go and get the best result is really important. Now my bonus tip is, have fun. Lawbreakers in my opinion is one of the best first person shooters of 2017 and I am super hyped to go and see where this game goes. In my opinion, Lawbreakers is the game that bridges the gap between, let's say, Overwatch and games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive and a Battlefield and whatnot. I am mainly a Counter-Strike Global Offensive, a Battlefield, those type of army, boots on the grounds type game. And Overwatch, it doesn't really reminisce for me, but the fact that this game does have that class-based system, but the mechanics of games like Quake and Unreal mixed with, let's say, Call of Duty and Counter-Strike and Battlefield, you put it all together and you get this game and the way that Boss Key is developing it, they're being really open to the community, they're trying to go and be as transparent as possible, taking in a lot of feedback, and the fact that the price, from what I heard, is going to be very, very reasonable, I think this game could definitely be a contender for that class hero spot of the first person shooter genre, but can also really go and pull in cash rate global offensive players, and that's why I'm excited to go and make videos, and hopefully you guys are excited to go and play the game and watch the videos as well. 
But with all of that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. It took quite a while to write up the script and go back through all my footage, try to go and remember Lawbreakers since it's been such a long time from when I last played it. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to go and drop a like rating. Make sure to go and subscribe. But other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.